In this tutorial, we're going to cover list of items as part of our data validation course. If you don't have anywhere to put your list of items for your data validation, or you only have a few items, then you can use the list of items options instead of the list of range. Let's have a look. So here, this looks just like our list from a range, but it's actually an embedded list inside the data validation. Choosing a lot of chocos, aren't I? Okay, let's change this one just for fun. Cool. So let's see how that works. Over here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to data validation. And this time I'm going to choose list of items for our criteria. And on the right hand side, it says enter items separated by a comma. So you can see you can add numbers and text, but you can't add formulas here. So this time around, we might say uh, one uh, pizza. And then separate by a comma, we'll say two dot cake, three dot banana, and four dot chicken. Okay, and now we have four comma separated items. This time we'll hit reject input and we'll show validation here. Click and enter the value from the list of items. That looks pretty good to me. I'll hit save and let's have a look. So if we open it up, now we have pizza, cake, banana, and chicken in our list. Just keep in mind the list of items will not sort automatically. So whatever one you put in first will be displayed first and so on and so forth. You can click here and drag them all down and every single item will be the same. As you can see though, that the formatting will carry on with it. So banana, chicken, and cake. All right, let's control Z that. So let's, let's change that around. So we've just got the top one. One little quick tip you can do is simply copy and paste these values uh, down using a special paste value. So first we're gonna hit control C to copy, and then I'm going to select my range and right click and go to paste special. And you can see here we've got data, paste data validation only. I'll click on that. And instead of my formatting being messed up like it happened before, this time the formatting will stay the same, but all my data validation is still there. And I could happily click away and make my selections as I see fit. Okay, so that's it for list of items as part of data validation in Google Sheets. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.